So this is the final video where I'm going to show you how to use brush strokes to do things like zippers or lace or um, ruffles or any other kind of details like that. It's a little shortcut to make those things easier so you don't have to draw the zipper. But before I do that, I'm looking at um, the coat that I drew. This is my, my last chance really to fine tune it to see if I really like the shape. Like I'm going to do things like I'm going to look at um, the length of the jacket compared to the length of the sleeves. I'm thinking I made the sleeves a little bit too long. So I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to slide this aside. I think what I'm going to do here is box around. So I'm selecting all of these points here. I've used the white arrow just to select the points that I boxed around. And I'm just going to, in fact, you know, I think I'm going to use the arrow key so I could do it the same on both sides. So I'll click up one, two, um, three. I think that's a little bit more in keeping with the you know, looking at the length of the sleeve versus the length of the jacket. Maybe I'll even go up four. So I'll do the same thing on this side, making sure I selected the points that I want to select. One, two, three, four. Yeah, I think I like that better. And I'm looking at these ties here. And I don't like that they're symmetrical from side to side. It looks kind of silly. So I'm going to come in closer. And um, now it's going to be hard to select these. Well, actually, it's not since I didn't group them. So I've got that one. Um, I'm going to have to get really big. I was using the white arrow, so I was able to select just that. It's going to be harder to select this, just this. I'm going to have to click on each individual point. Either that or I'd have to, I'm holding the shift key, to get all the points. And then I'll get this again. And I'll do the same thing here. I could ungroup and use the black arrow, but then I have to regroup things. That would be, I think it's easier just for me to select by point by point. All right, I'm going to use the arrow keys. See, um, they're too close to the center line. I won't have room to put a zipper in there, so I'm going to slide them over a little bit. Um, and these two here are closer than those two, so I think what I'm going to do is just select this top one. Oops, I didn't get the whole thing. There we go. Move that over one. And then the same thing here, I need to move this one over. So these are all just little fine-tuning things that I do at the end before. Um, so like I said, I don't like the fact that these are totally symmetrical. They look kind of goofy, I think. So I'm just going to use, selecting these two points, um, I'm going to select these two points. So now that kind of hangs down a little differently. Maybe I'll select these two points here, slide them up so the curve's in a different spot so they look, don't look like they're exactly the same. I'll do the same thing here. Maybe I'll take these two points and bring them over to here. Maybe I'll bring that one. There. Now they look more random. I kind of like that better. So now what I'd like to do is get a zipper down the center. I'm going to explain to you how the brush stroke library works. This is the brush strokes, brushes. Um, if I open that menu, this is what I have. Now just as a sample to show you how it works, let me just draw a line over here. So it's just a regular one point line. If I click on one of these, it will stroke my line with that design. This one looks like that. This one looks like that. So I can really stroke my line with any one of these um, designs. There's extra designs down here. If I come here, I can find different libraries, artistic, borders, uh, bristle brush. Let's look what they look like. Bristle brush library. So it shows me what those look like. So I can stroke my line with any one of those. Um, if I want to get rid of the stroke on the line, down at the bottom of the menu or over here, a little slash takes the stroke off. So these are all well and good, but that's not going to help me with putting a zipper on. So what we have in the fashion industry is people have developed strokes, brush strokes, specifically for fashion as lace or rickrack or different kinds of fancy stitches. So you can use that to, to do this. So the first thing I need to do is I need to bring in the stroke that I want. 
um, there is a breaststroke library on Moodle that you have to download first because you can't work it from Noodle. It has to be on your computer. So I got, downloaded it into my athletic apparel folder. I'm going to open the document. So um, athletic apparel project, um, brush library. Um, I think oh, the, the first one is instructions on how to work it. If you forget what I'm telling you, you can look at that. I think um, I have a. I think there's a zipper here in brush stitches PDF. Um, you have to kind of look at them all and see. So I'll open that one. Um, don't worry about it containing text created in a different version. You don't need the text. You just need the um, stitches. So let me make it bigger so you can see it. Oops. So here we have um, different things. Here's some casing, which is like a gathering that we to go through. Single needles, um, fa fancy stitches, flat lock stitches, which you might need on the garments. You might have um, a seam that's covered with a flat lock stitch. But here I have two kinds of zippers. I have a um, standard old-fashioned metal zipper or a kind of a nylon zipper. This could also be a plastic zipper. These are half a zipper, so the zipper is open. You have the one half and the other half. I think I, I'd like this zipper. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use one of my arrows here. I'm going to click on that, so I've selected it. I'm going to copy it. So it's con Command-C or Control-C if you're on a PC. I go back to my jacket document. I'm going to paste it in. So there's the zipper. Once I paste it in, look what happens. It appears in my brush stitch library. So I've got to leave this here until I use it, because if I would delete that, it would go out of my brush stitch library. Um, so I want to have it um, a zipper down the center front. So let me make this a little smaller so I can see the whole center front. So the first thing I'm going to have to do is draw a line, because so I need a, a, a stroke that I can put that brush on. So I'll use my pen tool, and um, it has to be a separate line. It can't be connected to something where that whole thing will become a stroke. So I'm going to start up here to make sure I'm away from it. I can always move it where I want it. Now there's my line. Now all I need to do is remember the eyedropper tool. With that line selected, I click on this. Didn't work. Um, okay, so I can come over here and just click on the zipper here. It's now I've got the zipper in it. So now once I get the zipper on that line, I can get rid of this other line. I don't need that anymore. It's going to stay in there because it's on this line. So that's nice. The only problem is that's really way too fat. Um, the zipper would not be that big. So how do I fix that? Come into my stroke menu. It's at one point. If I bring it down, Yeah, it's a pretty big fat zipper, so I think that's about a good scale. So there's my zipper. Now, it doesn't have a zipper pull at the top or at the bottom. If you notice, this jacket has a zipper pull in both places, top and bottom. You can open it in either end. But it just so happens in my brush stitch library, I have zipper pulls. So I'm going to open, um, zipper pull, zipper pull. Um, I don't know which one I'd like. I think that one looks good. So I will open it. Once again, not worrying about that little thing. Here we go. So what kind of zipper pull do I want? Let me see. What does it look like? Uh, pretty basic square zipper. So I would say it looks like mm, something like this, I think. So that's the one I'm going to select. Copy it. Come back to my jacket. Paste it. Well, of course, it's way too big. So I hold the shift key to keep it proportional, and I bring it down to the size that I want it, which this might be good. Make it bigger so I can see it. Um, now you notice when I brought it down, uh, it kind of got blocky because what happened was the stroke didn't get smaller. Um, when you reduce something, if you look at this menu, the scale tool, if I double click it, when I scale something, I can scale strokes and effects or not. The option is not checkmarked, so it's not scaling strokes and effects, which means when I reduced this file, the stroke stayed at one point. So now it looks way too fat. It's no longer proportional. Um, so what I want to do is I want to actually, I could, I could go back and I could do scale strokes and effects and um, reduce it that way. And, um, but I could also just select it and make the weight of it say a half a point, which I think will be fine. Oh, maybe even a little smaller. Maybe I'll make it 
um, I can type something in, let's say 0.4. I think that's good. So then I'm going to bring that zipper pool up to the top of the zipper. And you see it's, it's already filled with white, so it covers up the zipper underneath, so it um, doesn't look goofy. Oops. I need to use the black. I want to wait. You know what? Uh, somehow this is not grouped, so let me... I'm selecting the whole zipper pool and saying object group so that when I move it there, it will stay in together. That's why we group things, so when you move part of it, you don't lose part of it or you know you can get it all. So there is at the top. I need it at the bottom also, so I'm going to do, with that being selected, I'm going to do Command-C, Command-V. Then I have another one, and I'll put that one down at the bottom. And that's that. A zipper and a zipper pull. Now, there probably is top stitching on both sides of the um, zipper, so I'm going to put a straight line in there. And it will be top stitching. So actually, if I connect to that line, that's fine because then it'll come down and it'll be stitching just like that line is. No, I didn't connect. Well, that's okay. I can take the eyedropper tool, click on that, and it becomes stitching. Now I'm, I can copy and paste that, and it's stitching for the other side of the zipper. Now the only thing is, <clears throat> I'm looking at this. Uh, Try to get closer here, further away, maybe. It seems like my grommets here are still too close. See what's happening. So I'm going to have to do the same thing I did before. I kind of slide them over, so I'm going to use the white arrow, select the individual points, select that, select, oops, I don't want that. It's a little tricky sometimes selecting the right thing. Get the zipper selected. I don't want the zipper, I want the anchor points. Alright, now I'm going to have to move them over. Yeah, that's okay. Okay, that works. Okay, so there is, let's see a little bigger, we can see it. So there it is with my zippers. Now, you notice there's also a zipper in the pocket. Now, I'm not going to put the zipper in there because you won't see it inside the pocket, but I will put a zipper pull there so that you know the zipper is there. So, oops, I need the black arrow so I get the whole zipper pull, not just a piece of it. There we go. Control C, Control V. I have one for this pocket. I want to tilt it a little bit because it's sort of tilting out, you can see there. So let me get in closer so I can see what I'm doing. So I need the rotate tool. Um, which is behind the reflect tool. With the rotate tool, it's going to rotate around that center point, so I just click and drag. And here we get a little rotation. Um, now I'm going to copy this over here. I wanted an angle over there too, so I'm going to do the reflect the same way I did when I did both halves. Um, double click on the reflect tool. Is that what I want? Yes, I'll say copy. And then <clears throat> I'll just slide it over. So now the only thing is I would like that zipper to be kind of inside the pocket. So let's see, how do I do that? I'm going to have to... Well, that's a pretty... Um, more advanced skill. To, uh, I can do a clipping mask. To do a clipping mask, what you do is you draw a box or, or some kind of shape around the object that you want to clip. And then what you um, you select the object you want to click and the box. And anything outside the box won't show. So let me to explain that. Let me, um, if I draw right here, so that's the part of the zipper pool I want to show. I want it to, actually I'm going to have to move this right to here. 
I want that part to show, I don't want this part to show. So what I'll do is I will select the box, select the zipper pull. The box you draw has to be on top of the object you're clipping. And then I go to Object, Clipping Mask, Make, which is also Control 7, and it makes disappear anything outside the box. So there I have my, so now rather than do that again, I'm going to get rid of this one, and now I'm going to reflect this one. So I'm going to double click the Reflect tool, if that's what I want, I say Copy, and I have it. Now make sure you go out of the Reflect tool, while it's still in the Reflect tool, I'd be grabbing that and moving it all over the place. Um, so go back to your black arrow, and then you can bring this over to this pocket. And there we have it peeking out of that pocket. So there we have zippers on the pockets, zippers on the jacket. Control zero, let's look at what it looks like. I would call that done. Oh, the last step, the very last step is I want everything to be grouped, because I'm going to take this garment and um, put it in my layout. So. I need to take the black arrow, I'm going to box around everything to make sure every single piece is all selected. Once again, I don't want this guideline, so I hold down the shift key, click that, it takes that out of my selection. Command G, which is the same as going object group. And there it is, my final jacket. Now I can pick it up and take it anywhere. Uh, oh, look, I have some weight behind some of these pieces that I didn't realize, but that's okay, it's on a white background. Um, that's my jacket. I'm done. So that wasn't so tough, was it?